Now, one of the greatest things that could happen to a startup is a large company says, hey, you know, I want to invest in you, and I'm really interested in doing something with you guys. We just don't want to be a, you know, a supplier or a joint venture. We want to put money into your company. And I get all the time entrepreneurs ring, hey, look, so-and-so is really interested in investing in our company. What a great idea. It is a great idea. But you really need to put on your you know, green eye shades and black armbands and roll up your sleeves and really think through here what's in it for you versus what's in it for them. Obviously, if you're a technology-driven company, the first thing they want is access to your technology. Congratulations. But you know, their objectives are not to make you a large company. Their objectives is to make them a larger company. So you need to understand what kind of deals do they want? Oh, we want most favored nations clause, which means, oh, we, if you sign a deal with anybody else, we always want a better deal. Or the, my favorite is, oh, we want an exclusive for a year. Now, all these things sound great from the large company's perspective, but the question to ask yourself is, well, what do they do for me building my business? And I always turn to large companies and turn this around. And I'd say, you know, you want a one-year exclusive or you want most favored nations? Sounds like you actually want to buy us without actually spending the money. Because my goal is not to be a small subsidiary of your engineering department. My goal is to build a company your size. And so we need to understand what's in it for both of us. And so I tend to try to understand, first of all, who's the sponsor and what's the motivation. And, and it needs to come from the business side, not just some technology people, and these, you can't be dealing with junior biz dev people ultimately because their first answer for their first offers are always, oh, one year exclusives and we need, you know, all these other things. And, and while that's great for them because they have their checklist, you need to be prepared to walk away. But if you understand who the sponsor is, you can actually have an adult conversation saying, listen, this doesn't work for me. Actually, what you want me to do is to be selling to your competitors because that's the only way I could grow more resources to make you successful. I'm happy to consider how you get an advantage, but you can't decide I'm your only supplier. So one of the ways I tend to deal with these is try to get sales deals, not investments. That is, to me, it's a lot better to get a $10 million order from a company than a $10 million ownership position that they take because now they're your boss as well. Or try to offer warrants, that is essentially options on buying stock based on sales success. Remember, while it might feel great to have name of big company next to yours for the first year, eventually this will be a lead weight unless it turns into revenue.